So, hey guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to integrate ChatGPT into your website without any coding experience, like zero. So let's get right into it. As for demonstration, I'm going to show you guys my website. You can test it out on techwithlin.de. So here on the right side, we will see Hi, hi there. There are some fun facts about Lin. Let's kick to Lin GPT. It's the ChatGPT part. So, hi, I'm Lin GPT. What do you want to know? I would want to know um, what is what is love, for instance. Okay, it will give us love is a complex emotional bond bond between individuals characterized by caring, affection, and attachment. Okay, um, what is IPv4. So something like, I don't know, or what is that? Yeah, it'll give us the answer. Okay, nice. So let's get directly into it. So to get started, we're going to trial.cognig.ai slash agent. We'll create create agent. What should it be? Um, WebGBT because we want to integrate ChatGPT into your website, right? So let, let us do English and change the color to whatever you want and create empty agents. So now here, successfully created your agent. We'll go to the left side here. We'll click build and flows. We'll create new flow and let it be main, right? create so we are currently in the main flow to start i'm going to create all the new nodes that we are go going to need for building the chat and i will explain to you guys later what does it mean okay so let's go to once like in once upon a time so it's going to happen once at say node at wait for input and at http request Add another say node and add go to, right? So in the say node, we're going to say, hi, hi there, I'm ChatGBT or I'm WebGBT. How, um, how can I help you or ask me anything? Or we can do it down here. How can I help you? right and we're going to save that note so basically when you say hi it's gonna say hi there i'm webgbt how can i help you and it's gonna wait for your input right there's that now we'll click to http request what i want you to do is to change the http request method into post yes and we'll go to platform.openai.com we'll go to api reference here and then making request so this is the part we're going to work with right so the first step i, I want you to do is to copy this link api.openai.com slash v1 slash chat slash completions right copy it and you paste it into this URL node. Go back to platform, open AI, and we're going to copy this part from model to temperature, right? So we're going to add this here in the middle. Yes, I will open it up so for you guys can see. So here, the model is GBT 3.5. And we are the user and the content is say this is a test so we will ask ChatGPT to say this is a test right and the temperature is going to be 0 0.7 so <clears throat> setting the temperature to zero it's going to eliminate randomness and it's going to give us precise answers to whatever you're going to ask whatever you are asking sorry and if you setting if you are setting the temperature to one, it will deliver 
very inconsistent and sometimes interesting results. So we want something in the middle of that, like so 0.7 is going to be okay for now. Um, and next step, we're going to storage options and we click to context and let it there. And now let's go to the headers part, the interesting part. So but in the header, we'll go back to API reference. On here, you see here these two lines. We're going to need that. So the content type and application JSON, those are the headers we want to use. We'll copy paste that content type and paste it to application slash Python, yeah. And the second, the second header we want to use is authorization, authorization, sorry, and then barrier, and then we'll add our open AI key here. So I will copy that here, authorization, and add barrier, or, the, or barrier, I don't know how to say it. And then you go to API keys, like, on platform openai.com you once you log into your account you get to view api keys here and create new secret key here so i'm just going to because i've already done this i'm i'm going just to add my key here yes so that's that's all we need to do for now so the next part is, before we go to the say no, we'll go to the main node first. And we'll set here, um, set entry point. That is very important. Because we have set the entry point here, we can go direct to this node, right? HTTP request, save node. Right, so now we're going to test it out. Let's go say hi. Hi there, I'm WebGPT. Ask me anything. Uh, what is a laptop? I don't know. Yeah. I hope it's gonna work. No, it's not working. Oh, I, I know why. I know why. Sorry. So let's go here. Let's go to advanced and click go to node and wait for input. It has to wait for your input and then it will give you the answer back, right? So let's try it again. Let's try it again. Ask me anything. Let's ask who are you. Right. I hope. Yes, it's green. So it's good. Green is good. You don't see anything anything yet, but I'm going to explain why. So we'll get to the info section here. So in this info section, we'll click context. And here we'll see. The status code is 200. 200 is okay. It's always good. So what I want you to do now is, do you see, this is the test. This is a test. It's the answer of JGPT. So what I want you to do is click uh, on the right click and click copy JSON path, right? And we go to the say no. We'll add that. Add curly braces, open curly and close curly braces, and add, paste that JSON path into this curly braces. So we'll have to save node. And again, we'll go to ask, who are you? Hey damn, WebGPT, ask me anything. Who are you? This is a test. This is a test. So it's good. It's a very good, so it's working. It's answering us, right? So the next step is, <clears throat> I don't want it to keep giving me, this is a test. I want it to give us the actual, the actual answer, right? So what we are going to do now is click here, open it. And instead of saying this is a test, we will say input dot text and we will ask JGP to answer in one sentence, right? So we'll save node and we'll test it again. 
Hi, I'm WebGPT. Who are you? And I hope, yes, I am an open AI. Sorry, I am an AI language model created by open AI. What is GPT? GPT 10 stands for generative free train, blah, 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 blah. So it works. It works. That's the big step. So what, what we're going to do now is we're going to the deploy section here on the left side, deploy, and we'll click to endpoints. And here we'll create a new endpoint. Let's, let's name it WebGPT, right? The flow is going to be the main flow and web chat and point type is web chat and click save. So here, here, this, this embedded HTML, this is all we need. This is all we need. We have to copy the clipboard. And what we're going to do is we're going to find any random free HTML or CSS uh, templates, right? Let's go to, I don't know, let's choose some random website. Uh, let's do something like this. I don't know. Okay. And we'll click download. And so this part, it's going to be your website, right? So I'm going just to extract. So we're in the HTML file. We'll try to open with live server. We'll see the website, the template. So this is not my website. It's just a free website. And here, oh, that's actually a nice website. So here, we'll go to the body and paste the script, the link that we have copied from, copied it from CopyG. Going back to the website and here we'll see the jackbox session here. So here, Kanichi Web Chat. Let's say hi. Hi, hi there. I'm Web Chat. How can I help you? Uh, what is what is the difference between I don't know IPv4 and IPv6? So I hope it's going to give us a answer. The main difference between IPv IPv4 and IPv6 is the size of their address space. Okay, so uh, I'm going to add what is love or something like that. Yeah, love is a complex blah, 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 blah. So it worked. And here we'll go back to copy G and here we can decide what it's going to be look like in the web chat layout. So we can change it to pink or magenta, whatever you want. Well, I'll change it to, to pink because I love pink. And instead of write a reply, I'm going to say like, ask me literally anything, right? And web chat behavior, this is the part I want to mention. In the web chat behavior, so in, in this website, right? It, it doesn't say anything at the beginning. Every time and every time we have to like type say hi, it's it's inconvenient. We want it to start it automatically the conversation, right? So we'll click to start behavior and choose auto send a message to the bot, right? So let's click save. That's it. That's everything you need to do. And here, get started. It started automatically for us. Hi there, WebGPT, ask me anything. Yeah, that's basically it. That's how easy it is. Without any coding experience, CopyG has done everything for us. We just need to like copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. So yeah, I hope, I really hope that this video is helpful for you. And please let me know if you guys have tested. Please Hit the like and subscribe button. Try it out, test it out. And yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.